Alright guys, I've got a little update for you, and um, it is significant, it's a short one, but it's a significant one, so you bear with me just a sec, I'm going to take this rotor off. Okay, so previously I had been utilizing one of the phases from the factory windings. It comes as a three phase more. Um, now I've had quite a lot of success by winding a separate power coil on top of one of the phases so that we have the three phase output is totally untouched. So we can connect them three back up and then have a three phase output. Of the generator. Um, what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll pause the video and connect it up so you can see it running. But with a three-phase output, what you need to get here is a three-phase DC rectifier, three-phase AC to DC rectifier. This is from China. It's only a couple of bucks, but. Any three phase rectifier will do as long as it's a fairly decent voltage. This one's 1200 volts. Probably don't even need to go that high, but likely the higher the better. So, these two connections here are the new power coil, and the factory windings are in touch. So, just put as many turns as on one of these legs on top of the original on each leg. So, I think there's about there's over a hundred on each leg, but you have to pull it really tight to get all the turns on there. Um, but yeah, that's the uh, <clears throat> the update for you. Now I'm just going to pause the video and put everything together. I'm going to get it set up, and then I'll show you it running. I'll connect a three-phase output, and then what we're going to do is I'm going to try and loop the generator so the output I'll just connect directly to the three phase output with a capacitor on it even if it's just running at 12 volts we should be able to see if it can run itself or not well, stay tuned 